In the Mood, Glenn Miller. True classic. Now, uh, in case you don't know, the tabs are always for free. The link is below in the description. You can download the tab. And while you're checking out the description, you can check out the free finger style workshop or my guitar mega course, Guitar Freedom 360. All right, so let's start learning in the mood. You put on an F shape, okay, an F chord shape. <laughs> Up on five, this is A. Okay, so you play it from strings four to one. And then you play three more A notes. Okay, so it's. Okay, then you have five, four, five. Okay, you can pull off and hammer on. You can just pull off. You can just hammer on. You can not do any of those things okay it all works it's your interpretation of my arrangement do it however you feel like okay you can even slide and then you arpeggiate the chord again okay it's five on the second string six on the third five on the second okay you can just solo it you don't have to put the whole chord on okay so and then you have eight, seven, six, five, four. All the frets on the third string. And then you have seven on the fourth, then the chord again. Okay, so when you put the seven on, on the D string, do it with your third finger, so you can put the rest of the chord on. Now, after this, you have a solo. It's eight slide to nine on the first, and then 10 on the second string. Then it's seven, nine, seven, hammer on, pull off on the first. And then it's 10, seven on the second string. You can pull it off if you want. Then you have it again and you add another seven on the second string at the end. Then you have nine on the first string and then this. Okay, it's almost the same solo, but you have nine on the second string. So it's then you have the solo again with that extra seven at the end. So the whole solo. chord solo again extra note okay that was a mistake okay it's nine but you can play ten again if you want then you have that a chord once again okay you play it um, as a chord this time a block chord strings one two and three Okay, I play uh, the chord twice and then A and then the chord again. You can do what's written in the tab. Okay, this. Okay, just the first string and then the chord and then just the first string again. Okay, I play it differently every time. So when I arranged it, I wrote it that way. Now I feel like playing the chord. Okay, again, interpretation. You don't need to play the arrangement the same way every single time. And then you have this. Okay, strings two and three together, and then the first, three times. Now, when you play it, the bass notes go A, E, A, E. Now, we already played the first A. And then you have, okay, you have that um, two and three, and then one, okay, with E. And then you have... Okay, the chord again, and then A. And then you have the chord a third time, and then E. Okay, now together it sounds like this. Sounds confusing, but it's really, really simple. It's the same chord. A, E, A. Now, 
again, depending on your timing, right? If you want a syncopation, then the bass would go after the chord. If you don't want a syncopation, then that second A note would appear together with the first string the second time around. Okay, so it's and then you play it again. Then you have D7. Now you put on D7, but you bar the sixth string as well, because you're doing exactly the same finger pattern. Exactly, exactly the same fingering pattern. Okay, there's nothing different about it. And this time it's, it's D and A. D, A, D, A, and then again, A. And then you have E7, which is exactly the same as D7. You bar the whole set of strings. And then you have something really cool. 5, 2, 0 on strings 1, 2, and 3. With A, this is A7. And then you bar the second fret, you put four on the fourth, and then you have three on the fourth. Okay, you can play the three twice or the whole chord twice. And then you have A, okay, which is just the bar on two with five on the first string. Now you can play the A bass there, but then you miss this. Okay? You need to have that chromaticism going for 3-2. So that last chord has no bass note. It doesn't have that A bass. It's on purpose. That's the A part. And then you have something even cooler. You have this. Okay? It's that A chord again. This time just 5-5-6 five, five, without 7 on the fourth. And you play this, the chord, and then seven on the second string, and then you let go of the six. Okay, so there's a bar there, it's five, and you have D7. Now it doesn't really matter if you play the D string or the A string, because A is inside a D chord, okay? So you can play, you can keep playing the A bass, so... And then you have eight on the first, and then you move this chord up two frets, so you have seven, nine, seven. This is now E7, okay? And then you have this. It's seven, nine on strings one and two, and then seven, nine on the first string. Okay, this is the first ending, so. Then. Then you have seven, nine, seven, one, two, one, and then 12 on the first string. So it's, then you have the whole line again with the second ending. Okay, it's also the third. You leave that little finger there and you put a bar on nine. You play. E bass, chord twice, three times. And then, eight slide to seven on the first, and then five. Now you can go back to, okay, which is what you're supposed to do when you're playing it from start to finish, like the original song, okay? And, um, in the demonstration, I went straight for the break. The break is this. Okay, it's 10, 12 on the second. On the first, you have 9, 10, 12, 17. And then you have 12, 13, 11, 12. Pure early jazz. 
and then okay, the whole first part again and then you have the ending the ending is entirely chromatic it's I play four three two slide to one on the second string hey just because it's fun you can do Okay, a uh, triple pull off, but this is way more fun. Um, and then, okay, again, two, three, four, and then the open E string. You can play the A bass with it, and then just leave it, okay, just keep it ringing. Then you have one, two, three, four, five. Then you have eight all the way to 12. And then you have 13 all the way to 17. And then A7. It's a D7 shape on 9. Okay, 9, 8, 9. Although in the tab I wrote A, A major, not A7, okay, which is a D shape, 9, 10, 9. But somehow A7 sounds better to me as an ending, but I believe that Glenn Miller ended it on A major. So do whatever sounds good to you. So uh, that's in the mood. And now that you're in the mood, <laughs> uh, download the tab. Link is below in the description. The tabs are for free on Lick and Ref. And you also have a free seven day workshop. Seven day finger style workshop that's gonna completely transform your finger style playing so i can't wait to see you inside and um i'll see you in the next video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh tell your friends tell your friends about lick and riff uh it always helps uh to get to know new lick and riffers so thank you so much for watching have fun bye for now